Earlier today, I got to discussing this image, this meme that's been making the rounds on the internet. The complaint with this image is that NASA's official pictures of what the Earth looks like has changed over the years. And since we know the Earth has not changed over the years, what gives? Right? What gives? Ah, uh, this is all fake. It's got to be fake because look, I mean, look at this 2012 right next to this 2002. That's the same. It's North America, but you know, look at how big Mexico is here compared to this. So that's it's messed up. So I suggested we take a ball, an object, a ball like this ball here. And just take pictures of it from up close and from far away. This is from, quote, far away, and it's the other end of the kitchen. And then I got up super close and too close for the camera to focus, but you get the gist. And I take a picture there. And I want to compare these side by side and take a look at what I get. So I loaded them into GIMP. Here's the far away picture. Here's the far away image. And what I want you to look at is the details on this ball and how they change when the camera gets closer. So let's see. This is as I get a little bit closer. I tried to line up the center, but obviously I didn't do a very good job there. So we're going to be lining up the outside ring of the ball. And now I'm going to get in super close. And let's compare the farthest away from the close image and see how dramatically different those are. Let's, let's look at how different they are. We're going to put a circle around this ring and see how big it is on the image. Let's see if we can get a circle. Now when we zoom in, that circle, the ring is huge compared to how the ring was before. If this was a continent, if this was Mexico here, if this ring was Mexico, these two images would just, they would not match. Let's grab this thing and put them side by side like they were in that meme. And you'll say, hey, what gives? It's got to be fake. It's not the same ball. Of course, it's the same ball. It's just this is what you get when you take it from up close, and this is what you get when you take it from far away. So the conversation continued, um, and and it turns out the, the ball analogy was not convincing. So these two images were chosen as two very different images that are both presented by NASA to be legitimate pictures. These two images were chosen. These are on NASA's website and these are official images. And these two show the difference we're talking about. This is from the Discover. Yeah, this one's from the Discover satellite. So this one's fairly recent. Uh, July 6th of maybe this year. No. 2017. 2017, last year. So that's this one. This one is a famous image from Apollo 17. So this was a little bit older. Apollo 17. So it's from the 70s. So what we immediately are going to compare is these are both pictures of Africa. We see Madagascar. We see the Red Sea. And the sizes, I mean, of course, the orientations are different. But the sizes of the continents don't match up. So here's what I did. I took Unity. This is a free software package. And I picked up a free globe model that somebody has available, this sort of thing. Got a freebie. It's good. It's plenty good. And um, I loaded in those two images. The images that we were just looking at. Here's the Discover image. And... Here's the Apollo image. We'll be seeing those in just a second. And I'll, I'll put them on the frame. Here's the Apollo image. So you can see there's the Apollo image. 
as the discover image is now being shown. And on this one, on this scene, I have already lined the earth up perfectly so that it matches my image. Pretty good. Look at that. So what we've validated here is that this globe that I downloaded does a pretty good job of replicating this image. Let's see if we can get it to replicate this one instead. So the first thing we're going to see is it. I'm going to use a little transparency so I can see them both. Okay. It's aligned differently. So let's rotate the Earth to try and get it to line up. So here's Madagascar in the image. Hold on now. Yeah. Here's Madagascar in the image. Here's Madagascar on the Earth. So let's get, we're going to rotate the Earth up so that we try and line it up. That's not, it's going to have to be cocked over like this. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. We're getting there. Boop. Okay, Madagascar looks pretty good. Let's turn that transparency back up. And we'll do the flip thing. Boop, boop, boop. Not the same. Not the same now. This is the problem, right? This is the complaint. Madagascar is lined up pretty good, but watch the Red Sea. Here's the Red Sea in the image. Here's the Red Sea on our simulation. They matched before with the Discover image, but they don't match with this Apollo image. Here's why. The Apollo image is taken from closer. How close? About, and I've already worked the math on this. Okay, so what I've done, <clears throat> I moved the viewer. It was at my 1,000, it was 1,000 units back. This is all to scale. It's not to miles or anything, but it is to scale. So moved it much closer. So now I'm super close to the Earth. And look at this. I'm like, oh, can't see anything. So I'm going to have to change the focal length of my camera. I'm going to have to give a wider field of view. I don't know. Let's see here. About like that, maybe. Let's get that image back on. Get me some transparency so I can see them both. And then I'll line it up. Okay, here we go. Boom. About like that. It's not bad. I could get that a little better. Oh, my Earth is out of alignment now. Look at that. Now I can get it aligned better. That now that the sizes are right. How's that? Let's take a look. Boom. Look at that. Let's get the transparency. Turn that off. There's the Apollo image. Here's our simulation. Image, simulation. Image, simulation. This is exactly the same marble. It was exactly the same ball that I used to generate this discover image. We lined it up good with that. And now, just by moving the camera in, we're able to line it up with Apollo. So why is that? Well, the Discover satellite is out at the Lagrangian point. It's up to L1 point, which is a million miles from Earth. This Apollo photo was taken during you know the moon missions. So it's somewhere between the Earth and the moon at this point. Um, we'd have to look up exactly how far away that is, but the moon is less than a million miles away. So it's definitely much, much closer. It's uh, now on the order of 300,000 miles instead of 1 million miles. So that's why we have to zoom the camera in. So there you go. These two images, I'll show them again. They're original and they're all full glory. These are both genuine images taken by cameras. These are stills. These are not composites and they're not fake.